Part 1. Listen to the full conversation. Hey, have you ever read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Yeah, I've read it. It's about money, right? Yeah, it is. One important lesson I learned from it is the difference between assets and liabilities. Assets and liabilities? What's that? Well, an asset is something that puts money in your pocket, like investments or real estate. Liabilities are things that take money out, like loans or credit card debt. I see. So, what's the key takeaway there? The book emphasizes that you should focus on acquiring assets to build wealth. It's all about making your money work for you. Sounds interesting. Anything else you found useful? Yeah. The author talks about the importance of financial education. He believes that understanding money is crucial to making it work for you. Financial education, huh? I guess that makes sense. And he also says that you should work to learn, not just to earn. Meaning, instead of working for a paycheck, work to gain knowledge and experience. That's a different perspective. What else? The book suggests that you should pay yourself first by saving and investing a portion of your income before spending it on expenses. Saving and investing right away, huh? That's smart. Yeah, it's all about changing your mindset about money. Also, the author encourages entrepreneurship and creating passive income streams. Entrepreneurship? How can I start one? Well, the book doesn't go into details, but it encourages you to explore opportunities and think creatively. Got it. So, Rich Dad, Poor Dad is all about changing your money mindset and making your money work for you? Exactly. It's about becoming financially independent and achieving financial freedom. That sounds like something I need to read. Thanks for sharing those lessons. You're welcome. It's definitely worth a read if you're interested in improving your financial future. Practice session. Let's practice together. I'll go first. Hey, have you ever read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Yeah, it is. One important lesson I learned from it is the difference between assets and liabilities. Well, an asset is something that puts money in your pocket, like investments or real estate. Liabilities are things that take money out, like loans or credit card debt. The book emphasizes that you should focus on acquiring assets to build wealth. It's all about making your money work for you. Yeah, the author talks about the importance of financial education. He believes that understanding money is crucial to making it work for you. And he also says that you should work to learn, not just to earn. Meaning, instead of working for a paycheck, work to gain knowledge and experience. The book suggests that you should pay yourself first by saving and investing a portion of your income before spending it on expenses. Yeah, it's all about changing your mindset about money. Also, the author encourages entrepreneurship and creating passive income streams. Well, the book doesn't go into details, but it encourages you to explore opportunities and think creatively. Exactly. It's about becoming financially independent and achieving financial freedom. You're welcome. It's definitely worth a read if you're interested in improving your financial future. Now, let's switch the role. You go first.
Yeah, I've read it. It's about money, right? Assets and liabilities? What's that? I see. So, what's the key takeaway there? Sounds interesting. Anything else you found useful? Financial education, huh? I guess that makes sense. That's a different perspective. What else? Saving and investing right away, huh? That's smart. Entrepreneurship? How can I start one? Got it. So, rich dad, poor dad is all about changing your money mindset and making your money work for you? That sounds like something I need to read. Thanks for sharing those lessons.